So we're gonna have a little fun today, modify some hammers so that they meet the criteria of a blacksmith hammer. So until we can make a proper rounding hammer, uh, this is gonna work. You know, we're gonna need hammers to make hammers, so let's get to work. Yeah, so it's sitting at an angle like this. So what we're gonna do is just remove some material and kind of round it over. We're not gonna remove anything off the center. We're gonna leave this, we're gonna let this stay as a fall. Okay, so it's sloping this way. We're gonna leave all this alone and we're gonna curve this side in. All right, face looks pretty good. Now, let's start rounding this off a little bit. We don't want those hard square edges. Yeah, that's a nice little curve there. So we're looking pretty good. It's gonna be kind of hard for you to see, but these are 36 grit scratches. Right, and um, what we have here is we've kind of rough rolled this over, but that's still leaving these corner points right here. So you have like an octagon pattern. We don't we don't want that at all. Okay, I'm gonna round off these corners right here. You can use the same grit, but just use an older piece, and that'll help you round it and smooth it a little more because the grit's just not as good. So, all right. Pretty good. We're sitting on that shoulder nice. I'm really liking that fit. Okay, 
it's solid. It's bottomed out. It can't move. All right, I'm gonna make a mark here because I still think my kerf needs to go lower. Yeah, I don't know, that's pretty good, but I just, I want it to be a little bit deeper than that. This is our final fit. See that sound? It's really changed. It's not moving anymore. Okay, we're good. And we got a touch more out of it too. You can see right there. Okay, I'm gonna trim a little bit of this off because if I don't, I'm not gonna get my wedge as deep as I want. I've gotta bring a real saw down here. So because this is a sledgehammer and I don't wanna hurt anybody, I am going to not use Elmer's glue or any other kind of special wood glue. I am going to use structural adhesive. <laughs> the good thing about this stuff is it does give you some time to let it dry. It's probably overkill. I don't care. I mean, it is overkill. <laughs> wedged out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm gonna get this cleaned up and cut off and then we're gonna drive another cross wedge in there. Break into my linseed oil from the Homestead box. And just pour it all over the floor. So I want to put this thing to the test on Saturday. And we're gonna see if we can beat the crap out of it. Um, it's pretty soft, I can tell you that, uh, from when I was grinding on it, and then after I ground it, I tapped it a couple times uh, with another hammer that I know is pretty hard. Um, you know, the peening hammers tend to be pretty tough, so I tapped it with a peening hammer, and it did leave just a tiny little score in the face of this and did nothing to the peening hammer. Um, so, and I knew it was soft to begin with because of how folded over this was. Um, it should have broken off, but it didn't. So this is a softer hammer, which is good for blacksmithing because you know you really don't want to overstrike um, and uh, hit your anvil with a really hard hammer, especially one that weighs eight pounds, and uh, you could very well crack your anvil. So um, it's beneficial. I'd rather hurt this $1 hammer than hurt, uh, you know, an Armitage anvil from the 1850s or something. I don't know how old that anvil is, but it's old. You know, the video was getting a little long, so I didn't include the other two hammers that I made, but if you guys really want to see that video, I'd be more than happy to edit it and upload it for you. Just leave me a comment. So I'm going to be heading back out to Old Mill Pond tomorrow and doing a little bit of blacksmithing. And I've got a special guest blacksmith coming with me, and I'm really excited about it. So we, uh, looks like we're going to be able to get 
the power hammer operational tomorrow. So hopefully, I'll be uploading a video, a uh, successful video, soon. All right, guys, thank you very much for uh, watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel and welcome all of our new subscribers. We're so excited to have you guys. I think we picked up over a thousand new viewers since last week, and uh, man, that that's just really great. It's super humbling. I'm really glad you guys like our videos, and uh, I promise you, we're gonna keep them coming, man. All right. Well, thank you, and have a wonderful day.